So these programs begin with the acknowledgement and the realization that if it has a vulnerability, eventually somebody outside of your organization or your company is going to find out about it. Once you begin actively incentivizing people to participate in these programs, you start to be able to drive eyeballs and brain power towards very specific sets of problems that are uh, relevant to you and your customers. Having someone on your team that, that's really good at, at the public response to the security community is really, really key. It's not necessarily just the technical part, but it's also the relationship management with the security community. They don't have the insight that you have into a situation, so you need to be you know, patient, you need to be able to work with them to fully understand what it is that they're reporting to you, to keep communication open with them. Respond quickly, respond consistently, manage expectations, saying, you know, we are looking into this further, we'll get back to you when we have more information to share. And if something's gonna take a while, you know, just make sure you communicate to them, like, hey, we haven't forgotten about you. It's not necessarily like, hey, you found a bug, here's money. It's, hey, you found a bug, let's work together to close it. The researchers want to know that they're going to be taken seriously, that the person they're going to talk to is, you know, a fellow tech person who can understand what they're talking about. Some of these issues are, of course, highly technical. You want to have a positive relationship with this person because it's probably not the only bug that they're going to find in your system. Trying to keep that positive is, is very important because it just makes everything go uh, smoother. You're able to build up trust on both ends. When the bug is fixed and they want to go public with it and talk about it, we're gonna, you know, agree and say, hey, sure, everything's good, get credit, right? Get those accolades that you want, get some public um, recognition for what you found. If that's kudos through Twitter or any other way, we're always looking for different ways to kind of thank folks. At the end of the day, we see this as like making the site more secure um, for our users, and it's a very small price to pay uh, compared to the alternative.